The future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their TV shows on Disney Plus and their animated TV series, but also the new Star Wars trilogy of films that will be released in the near future by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that we do know about, of course, the future of Star Wars is that now that we have a new CEO of Disney, Bob Chapek, he is going to be making some big changes to Disney Star Wars and cleaning up house over at Lucasfilm and how Kathleen Kennedy will no longer have creative control over the existing projects and the early development phase, which I honestly think is a good thing. I think it's a right path and it just makes sense to do it that way. But, when we look at everything related to Star Wars, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are trying their absolute best to regain the lost fans for those who were very much unsatisfied with the sequel trilogy movies. We're talking about mainly The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, since The Force Awakens, I think, generally was an entertaining movie. And even if it wasn't for fans, it at least opened the doors of what was actually going to be made possible for the rest of the sequel trilogy, right? So, when you look at Kathleen Kennedy, obviously a lot of problems, you know, uh, pretty much were attached to her for the sequels. But now we're looking at this new trilogy, and this new Star Wars trilogy, these three new Star Wars films. I want to specifically focus on Star Wars X, which does indeed imply Star Wars Episode X. Now, what's really intriguing about all of this is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the Skywalker saga, they are focused on the new Star Wars trilogy of films that are said to be bringing the fans into a brand new mythology of Star Wars. Now, it's explained that Disney wants to create a brand new era for their new Star Wars trilogy that actually will introduce new Jedi, Legends of the Sith, and even new Dark Side Warriors, where it's noted that Disney has a plan to bring in Abeloth for the new Star Wars film dubbed as Star Wars X, which, like I say, implies Star Wars Episode X. Now, Abeloth, also known as the Bringer of Chaos and Beloved Queen of the Stars, was a being very powerful in both the dark side of the forest and the light side of the forest because she drank from the well of power and bathed in the pool of knowledge. Now, it's explained that Disney wants to explore the pool of knowledge, which was a powerful force nexus located on a world within the Maw. The Maw is essentially a cluster of dangerous black holes in Star Wars Legends that Disney wants to introduce into the new Star Wars trilogy that they are actually currently developing. Now, though the Maw was teased in Solo A Star Wars Story and is indeed canon, it's explained that Disney wants to explain the origin of Abeloth and the Maw and as well as the Pool of Knowledge in this new Star Wars film that is set to deliver a unique experience for the fans. It's noted that Disney also wants to take a group of Force sensitives from Star Wars Legends to become a part of the new Star Wars film called Mindwalkers. Mindwalkers in Star Wars Legends were a group of Force sensitives who lived at a sinkhole station, a space station in the Maw. There, they learned how to separate their minds from their bodies to enter a realm of the Force known as Beyond Shadows. Now, Beyond Shadows was the name given to a realm of the Force to which Force, sensitive, Force sensitives actually went where they separated their minds from their physical beings. Now, the locations Beyond Shadows each has a corresponding real location in the physical galaxy on a planet in the Maw. Disney wants to introduce the Beyond Shadows as a new plot element for this new Star Wars film dubbed as Star Wars X. So, this new Star Wars film, like I say, you can see how they're really trying to implement many pieces of Star Wars Legends into the mix. And I think that this is a healthy thing. I think that this is a great thing for Star Wars. And the reason being is because, when you think about Star Wars, you always think about Legends. A lot of fans do. A lot of fans love Star Wars Legends. They love everything related to the juicy stuff with the Force, the Jedi, the Sith... Uh, dark side warriors, different types of force sensitives like the mind walkers, uh, very interesting material. And they're going to be slowly, you know, uh, pretty much bring this into fruition into the Disney canon. This is all a part of Disney's reset by essentially treating the Star Wars franchise in a more respectful way. Now, obviously, it's going to be placed in a different timeline. Everything related to Abloth and you know, the Maw, and the Mind Walkers, and the Pool of Knowledge, all these really intriguing things about Star Wars will be made in a different way, but will also stay true. The core of it all will stay true to how it was done in Star Wars Legends. Now, that's the thing here. Is this a risky move by Disney and Lucasfilm by retelling Star Wars Legends in a different timeline, but staying true to the overall story in a sense? 
I think it's risky to a degree, but I think that for the most part, some fans out there are really going to support this, especially the Maw, uh, Abeloth, the Pool of Knowledge, which I love. I don't know if you guys know more about that. Very interesting Force Nexus. Go ahead and research it. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities here for Disney and Lucasfilm to explore, and these are obviously the ones that they are actually trying to implement into Star Wars X as we speak. Obviously, Kevin Feige is still trying to get Keanu Reeves on board and other A-list actors. Cannot wait till we actually learn more and more about this as we go throughout this year of 2020. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.